Hey, what's up, guys? So today we are going to be making our own Kagane in Roblox Studio. Not like a working Kagane or anything like that, just for decoration. So there's going to be a couple plugins you need. Um, going to want Load Character Pro, which is paid. So if you guys want to get that, it'll be in the description. You also are going to want Archimedes 2. It's, it'll make it way, way easier to do. Also, um, building tools, which which is optional, but it's just sort of helpful of building in general. You're also going to want Weld Edit. And all of these will be in the description, so check those out if you're going to follow the tutorial. Or if you're going to do it at the same time as watching the tutorial, you know what I mean. So anyways, I have this little thing here, which I use this plugin to make. So... Go on, believe. One of these axes is... Yeah, I can just do this. This is what the Archimedes plugin does. Now let's uh, not do that. Because I, I just want this. So, we're going to use the Load Character Pro plugin and get me. There's another way to get yourself in-game if you guys want to look up a video on that. and Or, like, if you don't want to spend Robux and want to figure that out, then you can watch a video on that. I don't remember how to specifically... But this is probably the best way to do it. Let's align myself with this better, I suppose. I think... Yeah, that's mostly aligned. All right. Move myself up like this. Get it sort out of the center. Doesn't have to be exact. Now we're going to use weld edit to edit the welds on my character like this. We're just going to sort of move my feet. And... Let's see, sort of like this, I think, Get this, sort of rotate it down, and we're going to rotate my legs forward because gravity, I think that looks pretty good. So next, if you uh, don't want the little name tag above your character, you can just go to, go to the head and rename it whatever you want. And if you also want, you can just rename it back to head if you don't want to get confused. I don't know why they get rid of the name tag, but it does. So, now we have basically everything set up except for the Kagane. So, let's get on to that. So, what I'm going to do is just make a cylinder. Make it sort of, sort of flat like this. Hold shift and make it bigger. Because that'll resize the entire thing instead of resizing it like this, where I'd have to do both sides, and that's difficult to get even, especially with my settings for resizing, so I just hold shift and can do this. And same thing with this, except for when I'm resizing this part, and instead I can do that. So, but that's useful if you didn't know that. Move this up over to me. This doesn't have to be perfect, perfectly fit in, just, just for fun, whatever. I want to make this look nice, because I'm showing you guys how to make this. Let's see. Get the right axis. Probably the X. Go out like five and start doing this. Uh... Basically, we're going to make this go around here. So we're just going to go like this, and then... Actually, let's go back a little bit. Let's just... Now let's go... Negative five. Do this. 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 This, this, and this, and that's sort of taking a curve down. Let's start going to like negative fifteen. Boom, boom, boom. Just like this. And if the more you do it like this, the less perfect perfect it's gonna look like that, you know. Let's see. Just have it like this. 
think that looks fine. Just have it come around and holding on to it. I'm sorry if I'm bad at explaining this properly, but I just want to show you guys this, because this is really fun for me to do. I really enjoy this. So now, um, we're, what we're going to want to do is make a mesh part. That's going to be the little tip of the Kagane. You can do this with whatever you want, but I already have, um, I already have a thing for this. So we're just going to use this cone. You can make this stuff in Blender. I don't really know how to use Blender very well, so I'm not going to, like, explain how to do that stuff properly. Because that is not my, that's not my sort of thing. Actually, I have an idea. Why don't we do this to position it right? Stop being welded. What? Oh, I, I'm stupid. All right, now we're going to use this plugin for rotating it because you can rotate it on the actual parts axis instead of the world's axis. Makes it much easier to do. And we're going to switch the increment to make it actually perfect. We're also going to use this. Move it. This also needs to be resized. So let's do this. Oh, not one. Let's make this even lower. All right, that looks... Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna use this because this is a little more precise. Or Smaller increments. Whatever. Now we're just going to make this longer. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. We're also going to add some other stuff, but for now, let's just color this. So, select all this and deselect uh, that and me. Let's go for dark red and... Um, where is it? Slate. I think that looks good for Kagane. Yeah, I like how that looks. Just sort of hang in there with it. Now let's do something else. Give me a minute to think, because I don't actually know what I want to do next. <laughs> Alright, so why don't we just add, like, a sort of arm thing, like Jason, because why not? Sounds fun. But this is going to take a little bit more precision, so I won't be able to commentate over it, so I'll just do a quick time lapse of it. So I may or may not have tried to do that and then messed up. And then, uh, now I have to get me back. So I'm an idiot. Let me just stick myself back over here. You know, can my camera move slower, please? Yeah, that's about right, I think. Yeah, I think that's about right. I'm going to have to reposition myself and all that, and then have to redo this. Actually, I might just... I can, let's search for something else. That, that's going to take way too much time, and I've already... I did that and then messed up somehow. Because I'm an idiot. So, why don't I just fix this and then not do something that complex for now. Doing this sort of thing, uh... Ugh. So I was at this angle. I'm like, wait, where did the mesh part go? Oh, wait. It was facing me. Anyways, what I was going to say was, this takes a ton of parts to do with this many for just this tiny little segment area. But if you want it to look more curvy, since Roblox uh, isn't made to have curvy stuff like that. So now let's actually move on to, let's just do some sort of thing like this because I messed up on the other thing. Alright, let's just... Gonna do a similar thing and around these areas, cause fun. Let's find the first one if I can. And uh, I'm still selecting three. Um, I'm gonna just copy this moves here and then move it back. What am I? Even... No, not that. What am I even doing? Just freaking freaking do this. Yeah, there, there, that works. 
So we can just sort of move this and probably rotate it slightly. Get a better angle. Yeah, okay, then let's, of course, use this. Might not have enough. Okay, never mind. Two. Slow it down like that, and then let's go to positive two. I think this is looking good. Let's going back into that. Actually, I have an idea. Let's just go with that, and then... Let's have... Okay, yeah, that works. There we go. Local again. Go through like this. I think that works. Let's make a little bit that just sort of sticks out because, you know, it's like breaking through. Make it look more cinematic, like I said. And this doesn't look that good, but that's fine. Doesn't have to look, look perfect. Just sort of a demonstration, not like... Not actually trying to make this look perfect. Although, generally, when I am building for games and things, like my game, which is going very well, by the way, I'm, I'm very perfectionate when, it's, when it comes to building that stuff, which in some ways might be a little bit of an issue because I don't have to do that as much, but that's also a good thing because I, I want to put a lot of effort into it because I want to make it have no mistakes. However, I've been trying to pay attention to, like, if it, if no one's going to see that mistake at all, there's no point in trying to fix it. Yeah, that looks good. All right. That's sticking through it. It's got, like, it's got that good grip on it holding, holding it up there. Yeah, it looks cool. I like it. Uh, let's, I want to do one for over here. Let me think for a minute. What sort of design I want to do. I don't want to just... If I wanted, I could literally just copy this and rotate it, couldn't I? Kind of just... Flip it, I guess? Whatever. Ah, oh, yes. Exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. So let's not do that. Because that's dumb. Let's get another one of these, if I can actually find it. Yes, one part. Copy this. Not use transform. Isn't transform just like having like every tool at once? In a way? Some someone tell me, I never use it. Oh, let's go with fifteen. So this okay, looks like that. Can I have the what am I even? Okay. That's just one. What? Excuse me. I really hope they didn't not save. Uh, hmm, you know, I don't know. This might not have saved. Thanks, Roblox. Well, I guess... <laughs> wow, my gosh. So, thanks, Roblox. So, I'll thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. Plug and join the description if you do want to get those. I'll see you on the next... <laughs> I hate Roblox. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.